The Indiana Supreme Court will soon have an opening. Justice Brent Dixon is retiring after 30 years on the bench. Three people from Fort Wayne are all applying to fill his spot. The first round of interviews was today at the State House, and News Channel 15's Alyssa Iverson was there. She joins us live now from Indianapolis with how things went. Alyssa? It was a full day of interviews here at the State House for the next Indiana Supreme Court Justice. In January, 29 people submitted applications for the job. Three of those people from Fort Wayne today, two of them had their interviews. First up was Fort Wayne attorney Thomas Yoder. He has been practicing business and commercial law for 40 years, and he's a past president of the State Bar Association. He says he misses having his public voice, and that's one reason he's applying for the justice opening. He's also almost 64, so he couldn't be on the bench for more than 10 years because of the mandatory retirement at age 75. But he says his background would bring good diversity to the court. I have seen everything there is to see in the commercial and business context. And frankly, I think that the, the Indiana Supreme Court has never been strong in those particular areas. I think I bring a perspective uh, to the court that really uh, they don't have right now. Second from our area today was Judge Thomas Feltz. He was elected to Allen Circuit Court in 2002 and served as a court magistrate for 12 years before that. In his interview, Feltz said that his years as a trial court judge make him a good candidate because he's dealt with many facets of the law, including criminal, civil, and family. There was also a lot of talk about giving back to the profession and getting more lawyers to do pro bono work. To incentivize lawyers to look maybe deeper within themselves um, recognize the benefits of giving back to their community, giving back to their profession, um, that reward you get from helping someone who may not have an attorney otherwise except for you to step forward. The interviews with the Judicial Nominating Commission continue tomorrow. The seven-person panel is led by Chief Justice Loretta Rush. The group will narrow down the candidates to 10 for a second round of interviews and then select three people to send to Governor Pence's desk. He will then select the nominee, and that person will join four other justices on the Indiana Supreme Court. Our third person from Fort Wayne, Allen Superior Court Judge Fran Gull's interview is tomorrow, and we will be back down here for that. And the last time an Indiana Supreme Court justice was from Fort Wayne, by the way, was in 1949. Live in Indianapolis, Alyssa Ivinson, News Channel 15.